Hello. Hello, and what was your hotel like? Um, it, it was okay. Um, it was mainly somewhere to sleep after the free bar of ah, last the night. free bar last night. Two of the greatest words in the history of civilization: free bar. Yeah. A lot of fans behind uh, Chris Hero. Uh, a lot of CCW fans here in attendance. And of course, the other good thing is the fact that we're hidden up here in the balcony. I didn't have to shave. <laughs> Seeing as my basin in the hotel room is uh, about the size of a kidney dish, that's quite a good thing. See, I actually stayed in the Marriott last night. Other hotels are available. I slept in Macau. And a nice series of. Uh, Top wrist locks underneath. Oh, nice. Kicked through. Nice leg lace there. Well, Doug Williams already going for the submission because if he wants to win this, like anyone, he's going to wrestle three times tonight. The quarterfinals, semifinals, and the final all happening right here tonight. Which is why we're going to see a different kind of strategy, in my opinion, uh, from these wrestlers in the opening quarterfinal matches. But, yeah, we've, we've said this before in competition, so uh, tournament situations. When you've got... You've got to, you know, potentially fight three times. How much do you save for the other matches? Because if you don't go all out, are you going to win your match? See, that's uh, you're correct. That's another uh, potential problem. Which is where, you know, the, the guys, the more experienced guys, the top-notch wrestlers who can do this in their sleep, like Doug Williams, have got to be favourites. That's why I've chosen Doug Williams... To, um, to advance and, and to win this thing. Well, I have course Your choice was Rhino. My choice was Rhino. What happened to him, Dan? Uh, he lost. Exactly. To Nigel McGuinness. And so the only thing I can think of is that as my choice was beaten by Nigel McGuinness, as I should go tonight with the person that beat my choice. Which is Nigel, Nigel McGuinness. Nigel McGuinness. That's the only way I can figure it out because I did not see Rhino uh, losing that one. So... Chris Hero, on the other hand, uh, plans to change the plans of Doug Williams in reaching the next round. We're seeing great, great technical wrestling here. Chris Hero, a big fan of the British style of wrestling. He Absolutely, too came yeah. over to the United States to uh, learn more of the British pure wrestling style from Robbie Brookside and uh, Drew McDonald and names alike. Not plenty uh, with uh, All-Star. Yep. Actually, he was... Uh, Able to catch Chris Hero live a couple of times in his uh, All-Star series, summer series, a few years back. Saw him having a great match with Frankie Sloan. Uh, another name that you don't see uh, around the UK on TV that much, but Ooh. a fantastic wrestler. Absolutely. But yeah, Hero has wrestled in Premier Promotions, which of course is the promotion that Doug Williams is representing. My, uh, my hometown promotion, you might say. Sussex-based, run by John Fremantle. It's been going since about 1987. Absolutely. Great promotion. Sticking to the traditions of British wrestling. Absolutely. Heroes wrestled for them. He's wrestled for FWA in the FWA Academy. Yep. And for 1PW. And tonight he represents CZW, Combat Com Zone Wrestling, on uh, the uh, east coast of America. And uh, Chris Hero is CZW through and through. Anybody that followed the Ring of Honor versus CZW interpromotional feud will be able to tell you all about uh, Chris Hero's shenanigans. And what a feud that was. Absolutely. Nice top wrist lock there. Goes underneath again, does Chris Hero. Williams go into the hair. The momentum takes Doug down. What we're seeing here is Chris Hero. Oh, rope break there, too close. But Chris Hero refusing to break it. Wait a minute, Doug. These two are so good, they're going to have counters for counters that the other one's already counted, that the other one hasn't quite figured out a counter to, but they've got it in mind as a rough idea as a counter, but then they've already counted that by the time they've got to that counter. Lots of counters in this match. These guys know how to wrestle. More counters than Woolworths. Yep. Other stores are uh, available, available to shop at. You know. Any news on Pac, by the way? I haven't seen him myself. Uh, Pac actually... Um, is he in was, the building? Uh, he is in the building. 
Uh, to my knowledge, anyway, I, I understand that he was um, released uh, last night around 3 o'clock in the morning, actually. Um, Sounds a bit like you. Uh, beautiful. Oh, oh, to Johnny Saint, legendary oh, British yeah. wrestler there. And uh, for those of you fans across the seas that have uh, not seen the traditional British wrestling style... Get some Johnny Saint tapes. Yeah, you're not going to see anything, meaning... You can track down Johnny Saint uh, competing in Michinoku Pro even if you're a big uh, Japanese fan and he's uh, near the, nearing the end of his career. Johnny Saint, uh, great Johnny Saint match with Robbie Brookside. It's one of my all-time favourite matches with uh, Quango as the referee. Yeah, Johnny but Saint, one of the masters of British wrestling. Chain wrestler and um, counters that no one else has ever done. No. So uh, And yet uh, here we are 20, 30 years later and everybody's still trying to... Uh, uh, be like him and using yep. his counters because he used what was what worked. Great wrestling. Hero staying on that left arm of Williams. Williams rolls through. That's uh, seen Johnny Saint do that before as well. So. Indeed. And Nigel McGuinness is someone else who, who definitely has been influenced by him. Yeah, absolutely. Johnny Saint, one of the most um, influential wrestlers of the past 30 years, without a doubt. I also remember a young man by the name of Paul Birchall uh, getting some Johnny Saint tape from me once upon a time. What ever happened to him? I don't know. It was a pirate tape. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> no. Hi, kid. I do. And, uh... Oh, oh great wonderful. pinning combination. Wonderful series of moves. We are seeing a fantastic wrestling match thus far. Now, Chris Hero Day saying he was that close or he's insulting Williams' manhood. I think it was the, uh, the former. Ah. Got an elbow tie up now. As you say, though, Dan, evenly matched both of these, yeah. very much so. And I love them how so far we're seeing both of them trying to out wrestle one another. We talk about. <laughs> but I'll tell you the other thing that mate, I noticed from this. What's that? At the moment, at least, no real high-impact moves that are going to cause injury and once in again, later matches. We're seeing a lot more Johnny Saint influ influenced moves there with the escape from the full Nelson. And I'm loving how this is a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. It's the King of Europe Cup. We're seeing a lot of different styles. Yesterday was Night of the Balcony Dives. Tonight, uh, it's got so far, it's Night of Wrestling. And uh, it's a, a welcome change for, for myself. Uh, because I, I, I absolutely love this style. This is what it's all about. It's the, the, the name on the marquee is wrestling. And you're seeing two experts at professional wrestling in the ring right now, and Chris Hero and Doug Williams. Although that said, as good as it is you know, to see this style of wrestling, you still can't beat a good kick in the face. Oh, no, I absolutely love a good kick in the face. Not as long as I'm not taking it, of course. But, um, you know, just uh, to show you the, the great history that... Uh, Britain has when it comes to wrestling training. Obviously, I was, we've mentioned how Nigel McGuinness came over here. Despite being British, he actually learned originally to wrestle in the States, uh, but then came back over here to learn the British style. Colt Cabana, of course, uh, learned how to, yep. came over here many times to learn the British style. Chris Hero. And you can go back as far as people like Brett the Hitman Hart, Jushin Thunder Liger, uh, Satoru Sayama, the original uh, Tiger Mask, all came over here to the UK before going on to become big, big stars to learn the craft of professional wrestling because, you know, we, we do it pretty well. And uh, Doug Williams... Oh, a wonderful escape there. And now we're going through like a surfboard type hold here. Hero, trying to squirm to those ropes. Oh, this is a very painful move. That's uh, up, and he's in the ropes. A move popularised in uh, Britain by Steve Gray, former world lightweight champion. Absolutely. Again, uh, this is uh, it's an absolute pleasure for me to be talking about wrestling in, in this kind of way and seeing this kind of action in front of me. Because, again, if you've never really seen some of the uh, classic British wrestling footage, um, if you're able to get hold of... Uh, you know, world of, classic world of sport wrestling tapes, or you're able to um, uh, check out TWC Fight, uh, then please do check out World of Sport, and you'll see fantastic British wrestling uh, like like you haven't seen before, and like the world is uh, only now starting to recover. And oh, real first big high impact strike. 
Chris Hero with a two count. Hero's face says to me he thought he should have got the win with that, maybe. Yeah. Well, that's an unusual way of doing, I guess, a yeah. loose maybe, variation. Maybe he was thinking about going to the top rope, thought it would take too long, changed his mind, and uh, rolled through. Oh, nice move there. Now camera's taking you right in the action there. Absolutely. Beautiful flying reverse cross body. Misses the big Yap Mafia kick there. There's that flying forearm uppercut. One, two. As great as the matches were last night, this has uh, been my favourite match of the two nights thus far, and it's only the opening match of uh, night two. Really, really enjoying this match, and I hope you fans are at home and you're getting a taste for a more traditional British wrestling style. Oh, well, that wasn't really. Depending on who you watched back in the day, of course. Yes. Well, that was vicious. No standing uh, 10 count here, though. No, it's uh, all in rules, but they are. The strategy and that they're using is certainly the traditional yep. catch as catch can. Neither of these Mount Evans rules, of course. This is uh, all in one full rules, as you uh, pointed out there. Mount Evans rules, of course, with the traditional British wrestling rules of uh, best two out of three falls. Yep. Boxing rules uh, founded by the Marquis of Queensbury, wrestling rules by Lord Mount Evans. Uh -huh. Both men now roll into the... They're tied up. Referee breaks the hold. Calls for the match to begin. And there's Doug. Doug meets uh, Chris Hero. Straight in there. No, uh, no let up for Chris Hero. We saw Doug in a, uh, a great match with um, Aras last night. And uh, Doug eventually getting a win with a small package after a series of uh, attempts at the Chaos Theory. Yeah, and, uh, oh, vicious knee lift there. Chris Hero defeated uh, Claudio Castagnoli. In an um, interesting match, to where, say the least. Yes, a match where that, the ring broke. A match where the ring broke. Should we really be putting Chris Hero in the first match tonight? Given what happened last night? That's a good point. Fans are split. Premium Promotions, Doug Williams, CZW's Chris Hero. And the two of them trading blows. Oh, wonderful snap suplex there. One, only a one count. Sitch is in that rear choke. Oh, oh it goes underneath and he locks the... Well, I don't see how Chris Hero is going to get out of this. Well, yeah. oh, William's into... shoulders are, were down. Chris Hero trying to turn it into a pin, pinfall attempt. It's a way to try and break it. However, notice how he stands on the top of the toes. Yeah, using his full body weight and also that uh, four or five inch height oh, advantage. Oh, nice. He was able to nice. split the legs, roll through to a, a variation of a jackknife pin. That's the one difference between these men is that Hero's got about four inches in height on Williams. The other difference between these men, actually, is the fact that Chris Hero came over here to learn the British style. Doug Williams was raised on the British style. Absolutely. And the European style. And the Doug Euro Williams spent a number of years of his childhood living in Germany. Absolutely. Diving headbutt straight to the sternum. One, two, notes the forearm across the jaw. Doug Williams, also a former British national judo champion. He was on the verge of going to the uh, Barcelona Olympics in 1992. He chose to take up wrestling instead. And that judo background, of course, is a great grounding for, for wrestling training. So lately I've seen uh, 
Many people ask Doug, you know, their opinions on becoming a wrestler, and he's often told them to get something like judo back, back in because it really helps your balance and really helps you uh, when doing the suplex and throws. And of course, if you want to go back, because uh, oh, backslide attempt now. I mean, bad news, Alan, who, who passed away recently. He was a judo uh, Olympic bronze medalist. And if you want to look uh, further uh, back into uh, the judo play in the world of British wrestling, look no further than judo Al Hayes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, big back body dropped. Oh, and Williams landed on his side, not flat on his back there. That'll take the wind out of him. You can end up breaking your arm, too. And Chris Hero fired up now. Chris Hero, now the man on the offense, and an Irish whip into those ropes. Boot to the midsection, maybe he's going for that. Spinning net breaker, no, big kick. Big choke slam. One, two, great power from Chris Hero. Well, the Nodawa Tower, as you put it. The uh, Nodawa, the, the, the Japanese name for the movie, yep. inspired by Akira Tawe. A uh, Japanese regular from the... Uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling. Indeed. You'll now see him in uh, Pro Wrestling Noah, I believe. It's, it's another area that uh, heroes have an influence. Oh, one, two. Beautiful cradle there out of nowhere. Doug Williams. A bit of a different approach in this match as opposed from... Uh, oh, and we know this. Again, many uh, fans of British wrestling will... Well, no, this series of holes, it's uh, a famous uh, series by uh, Johnny Saint again. Yeah, and, uh, and just some, a two count. Some people may have seen uh, Nigel McGuinness do this, known as the Artful Dodger, small package. Oh, oh gets it. and Williams for the second match running gets a small package pretty much out of nowhere. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, it takes us three seconds to win a match. I've got to, got to say, that was a fantastic match. That was a bright, it was an absolute pleasure and privilege to commentate on that match. I really enjoyed it. And uh, what a fantastic play to begin night two of the King of Europe Cup with fantastic technical and uh, British European style wrestling uh, from those two. But absolutely, yeah. absolutely wonderful. And well, a great match. Uh, you know, also for, from Williams' point of view, pretty much ground based, pretty much low risk. You yeah. know, Doug Williams, he didn't go through any tables or fly off the top to the floor or take any horrendous looking bumps on his head. No. He is going, you know, Williams is in pretty good nick he's a, going he's into the semi-finals. Exactly. And, um, and so the winner of uh, Rio Saito and Matt Seidel later on tonight, they're going to be meeting Williams. Well, Chris Hero agreeing with me and saying Williams to win the whole thing. And Doug choosing not to shake the hand of Chris Hero. Well, that's unusual. Picking up the lingo as well. Yeah. Well, strange that, you know, such a sporting contest is somewhat... Unsporting finish. Yeah. yeah. From, from Dugable people. 